Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps interview questions. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about some basic and important questions which is generally asked in the interview. So we have already created a uh, playlist over the Azure DevOps tutorials. You can go through those videos and can see like how basically and the practically we work with the Azure DevOps. And apart from this, we have created a one devops tutorial series as well and the devops interview questions you can see all those things in the description section i have given the link so let's understand like and the like uh, what all are the interview questions generally asked so first of all like what is the azure devops so azure is a leading cloud service provider and in the previously it is known as vsts means visual studio team service and basically this Azure DevOps is help us to plan, collaborate better and delivery of the product faster. So the main use of this Azure DevOps is basically uh, help us to create the uh, boards and over the boards we do the planning and the work item basically like to whom that particular work item is going and how much time and the complexity everything we design over the Azure devops board and there we do the planning and according to that board it help us to collaborate better and delivery of the product faster and apart from this azure devops is a single platform that help every software developer team to design application with the agile process and like what is the agile process so we have talked in the previous tutorial like Agile process is basically nothing but a kind of a process where we uh, give a limitation of the time in that particular time we have to uh, deliver the product with the development and the testing so that is the agile process which contains some scrums and like sprint so that is the agile process and this azure devops is designed by the microsoft so that is the azure devops so now in the azure devops there are some main services like if anyone asks like what is the azure devops services so there are five devops services basically and first is the azure devops sorry first is the azure board where we maintain work work item. to whom that particular work item is going and the what is the status of that particular work item all these things is maintained under this azure boards and azure repo under this repository basically it contain the information of the source code like uh, which developer has checked in the code or basically commit the code and then where it uh, like um, it contain the uh, versioning basically this azure devops and it check where like it is um, going to the review for the code and testing for that particular code so all those things maintain under this azure repo and azure pipeline is basically used to like uh, you know, taking the build like particular uh, the code which is committed the azure pipeline take that code and put it into the build and the, after that build and the deployment the code goes to the production and other environment azure test pipe plans here basically whatever the code is checked in or committed those uh, code is tested using this azure test plans and then azure artifacts so under this azure artifact, uh, artifact basically it check the package version like in the developers system there are different type of the package version then it check like what is the production package version so if it is a mismatch then it maintain all the package so there is no not any uh, like a breaking into the code into the production so all these services has their different role and every service contains different type of the tools according to that it works in the azure devops tutorial series we have briefly talked about all these services and how it works so you can refer those videos as well now let's understand like what is the azure devops server so azure devops server previously named as visual studio team foundation server and it is the on-premises version of the azure devops service so basically there are two types of the server configuration one is the cloud and on premises so cloud means 
where we keep our full code on the cloud basically and on premises means where the place where we keep the code is our local like in the local system we keep the code where we do the changes and then finally we uh, commit that code into the server repository so that is the dif difference between cloud and on premises now what is vsts in azure table so like in september 10 2018 like vsts is renamed to the azure services so like what is the difference between vsts and azure devops services so in the vsts we used to call as a build and release then in azure devops we used to call it as a azure pipeline in vsts we used to call as a code into the azure devops we call it as a azure repo and in the vsts whatever the we are taking as a work or work item we call it in the azure devops as a azure board and in vsts whatever we call as a test here it is called as azure test plan and then in vsts whatever we used to call as a packages that we call in azure devops as a azure artifact and we have talked all these basically as services and the next is like what is the organization in azure devops so basically this is the portal link where we create our organization and under this organization we create the project and we have seen in the azure devops tutorial like how we create the organization and under that organization how we create the project so azure devops organization help in handling multiple project efficiently without confusion suppose if we have multiple project and we were would create multiple separate azure devops organization with one project in each organization and what is the meaning of that like if we are going to create a one pro uh, project and on uh, that project basically should have at least one organization and under the organi one organization we can have multiple project or one project so that is the um, definition of the organization in azure devops now the project so basically a project provide a repository for source code and a place for a group of people to plan track progress um, and collaborate on building software solution so basically a project is only the place where it contain all the services and it contain boards repo pipeline test plan and artifact services basically which we have talked in a bit before and like we create project under the organization so every project must have at least one organization and project is the place where we uh, like um, where complete development uh, done by the teams so in the under under this project only we define all the things and even developer commit the code into the projects only and we have talked about in uh, like in the azure devops tutorial where we have seen how we create the project and next is like how many type of the project we can create so basically there are two type of the project public and the private public project means we can access that public project without any credentials and it is publicly accessible and the private project is basically need the credential and it is uh, available only for authenticate user so that is the um, like type of the project now next is like what is the work item in azure devops so work item is a part of the work that is useful to complete the product development and we can add work item to plan and manage our project basically so basically like what happened the work item is basically kind of a task or a feature which we assign to the particular user and that particular user in the sense particular developer and the particular developer work on that item and in the board we can check the status of that particular item like item, either it is in a build status done status validate column or testing phase where that work item status we can verify and like for creating a work item we have to fill some mandatory fields like title description assigned to complete completed so etc like it depend on our requirement like which field we want to make even we can create our custom work item fields where we have to manage and we have seen all those things like custom work item into the azure devops tutorial now the next is like what is the boards in azure devops so uh, azure um, board is one of the important service of azure devops it is used to track the task feature and bug related to the project it track the work using this kanban board 
azure Dev uh, devops work in agile mode means it work with the scrum a board contain the work backlog and it contain the dashboard so that is the board and like what work item process available in azure devops so basically like when we create the project in azure devops so there are uh, four type of the work item available basically work item process available in that process we can create the work item and every process is contain different type of the functionality the type of the board and type of the uh, like a way of the work items so depend on that there are four type of the work item process is available and those are like agile basic cmmi and scrum we have seen all those things in briefly and even we created the project in the azure devops tutorial you can refer those videos and like now next is like what is the repository in azure devops a repository is like a folder for our project a project repository contain all of our project file and store each file revision history and we can also manage a uh, project work within the repository and azure repository is a set of the version control tool that we can use to manage our code and it is used to manage the code in a systematic way so repository is basically the place where we keep our full code as a versioning level or uh, as a different like as per our requirement we can manage our code under this repository and even if any developer make any changes those uh, changes goes into this repository and then repository goes into the deployment now next is like what is the version control in azure devops so version control is enable us to track changes we can make uh, like if we make any changes into our code uh, like over time we can say it is used to track or manage every single code changes done by the team member and the meaning of that like suppose i am going to work on a particular task now like i have committed that particular task into this uh, particular uh, repository or particular branch then it is help us to track like who created uh, this particular task and the changes who uh, has done and like what all are the changes so all those things can be taken care and or track by this version control and to manage code we need version control software and we can use version control system to keep track of each changes done by each developer and like there are two type of the version control available in azure devops basically azure repository and what all are first is the git and it is a distributed version control and next is like team foundation version control and it is a centralized version control in a bit we will understand like what is the distributed version control and centralized version control so let's understand like what is the difference between these two so centralized version control means all file version are stored on the central server no developer has to copy of all file on a local system if the central server crashes all the data the project will be lo lost basically so it means like at the one place we have the code and like dependency of every code is at the one place and if any problem comes on that particular place then the project we can lost and the distributed control system means every developer has a copy of all version of the code on their system enable team member to work offline and does not rely on a single location for backup there is no threat even the server crashes because in every places we have that source code basically now the next is like what is the difference between tfvc and git so as we understand like tfvc is basically centralized version control and in the picture you can see like developer 1 and developer 2 is working on a some task and they are like commit and, and like taking the code from the same repository or same uh, place if developer 1 put any changes into this repository and developer 2 is also putting some code into the same repository then there can be any merging issue and even like if any problem comes into this tfvc then it can break all the developer code so that is the tfvc and in the uh, github is basically a distributed repository and here what happened like this is a main place where our code is exist and these are the local repository where developer has work like particular developer 
if make any changes then first it go to this local repository then everything is fine then it goes to the main repository so in that way it works now next is like what is the branches in azure devops repository so git branches are not much more than a small reference that keep an exact history of the commit so they are cheap to create so basically branches it means like suppose one developer is working on a one task so what developer do they create their own branch and they commit that code into the particular branch then at the time of the deployment all branches merge into the main branch then that main branch code for the deployment so there are very less ch uh, chances that it harm the production code basically and committing changes to a branch will not affect other branch that is why other other advantage and we can share the branches with other without having the merge the changes into the main project so that is the other advantage like we can even share the branches and the code for the code review also and next is like what is the pipeline in azure devops so azure pipeline is a cloud service that you can use to automatically build and test your code project and make it available for other user so like now the pipeline is the main point what it do it take the code from the repository and build that code and then allow all those changes into the production or testing environment so that is the pipeline and azure pipeline combine continuous integration and continuous delivery to consistently test and build your code uh, and ship that code into the particular target like it's a production target or develop uh, like testing target and it is used to deploy the code into the production and it can be triggered automatically and manually like this pipeline process we can create as a automatically let like, like we want to trigger that code at the particular time we can manage it and even we can trigger manually also now the next is like what's the process of the pipeline the azure devops so in this picture you can see like a particular developer what he did he has pushed the code or commit the code then code goes to in particular repository and from that repository what happened like that code is built like it check the build like if there is a not any compilation error all the code is working fine then it go to the release like it is ready for the release and then it deploy and it deploy on the different type of the environment like testing acceptance or production environment so in that way this pipeline is basically works and basically this pipeline contain different type of the tool for different type of the stage and like in the re, re, like build in the release we have one testing phase also we are check like all the code uh, like unit test and uh, like everything is working properly or not so this all for this process this pipeline contain the tools and we have seen different type of the tools when we were working in azure devops so i also recommend you please watch azure devops tutorial and devops tutorial so you will understand like briefly and practically like how all these things works so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt 